I finished another project that I've been working on for oh, almost a year. Another audio note stereo amplifier clone. The circuit caught my eye. It was pretty simple. And I thought it might sound nice, and it definitely does. It's a copy of their P2SE, which is the 6L6 parallel single ended amplifier. I made a couple changes, which I think kind of enhanced the circuit. And I used the DIY layout creator to lay out the turret board for this. It is a really nice program. You can lay out turret boards, you can lay out PC boards, you can do a lot of stuff with it. And it has the ability to size the components so you know ahead of time what your board is going to look like and what the wiring that is needed is going to look like. So here's what I did with the DIY creator for this all on one board. So it's relatively simple to do this and you can print out by peeling away some of the layers there are options to peel away the layers just where the turrets are going to be print it out and use it as a template to mark with a with a punch the holes where you need to drill in your material board material now looking at the schematic What's different about this than the original is, I wanted to keep it kind of close, the power supply, very similar, but I added a hammer choke in there. And also, I regulated the screen voltage. If you look at my video about screen voltage regulation, you'll see why that's an important thing to do. The only trouble I had was getting the correct power transformer. Well, I wouldn't say trouble, but um, over at Haybor, they never got back to me when I gave them the specs for the power transformer. So that might have been cost prohibitive because when I checked with Edcore, they wanted a $300 setup. So I noticed that the Chinese are reproducing a PC board. For this very same circuit and they also had an offer of transformers a company that makes transformers so I went to them and I looked at their ratings and the original transformer now audio note always beefs things up that's one thing in their favor they use oversized transformers which is great the original transformer that you use in this looked like, from what I found on the net, was the 320 milliamp. And I looked at what the Chinese were selling, and it was only rated 220 milliamp. And after I did some calculations, that's really pushing it. So I contacted them because they said they can customize their transformers. And I had them customize it for 275 milliamps. And the dang thing is really heavy. It was an eight pound transformer. The regulation is exceptional under full load. So it worked out pretty, pretty good. Now looking at the bottom of the amplifier, you can see the board that I put in, high wired it. And you can see where I built the little regulator circuit for the screens off of the taps for the transformer. Now, I suppose could have used a single a transformer with a with a single taps on the uh, secondary of uh, of uh, 310 zero 310, and I could have connected into that with the regulator for the screens but I wanted to keep it keep it similar to the original now this circuit is kind of nice the preamp circuit on here is SRPP 
and I'll leave a link to a really nice document explaining this SRPP circuit and how it is actually the, the elements of the uh, 6SL7 tubes are actually stacked, actually in series, but it's, uh, they consider it a series regulated push-pull driver. And there's a, bit, a lot of been written about it. And if you look uh, at the TubeCAD articles that John Broski's written, he talks a lot about it and he uses the circuit. And I think Audio Note has used it in some of their other equipment. And it's basically pretty simple. And I liked it because there's only two capacitors in the audio input line. That is the caps that are on the output of the driver into the input of the output tubes. So if you have any questions, and I'll leave a couple links of the schematic and such down there in the description in case you want to look at my drawing. It's pretty similar to the original but with the changes that I've made. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a little message email or through the YouTube comments. That's fine by me. And if I can answer anything, and sometimes I can't answer things, I have to ask others. So have a good day and enjoy your building of projects.